Yo, what it do, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Playboy Barry back once again with another lit video. As y'all can tell by the title, I'm welcoming y'all to my brand new truck, uh, a 2013 Dodge Ram 1500, 5.7 liter Hemi. Y'all, don't mind me. It's it's dirty right now, y'all. I kid y'all not. I just cleaned it like two days ago, and last night I had to go through a mud puddle to help somebody out with some stuff. So it's kind of got some mud on it and I need to get this video out because I'm ready to start on my channel. So I'm going to give you a little breakdown of what I've been doing. So y'all, I ain't been on YouTube in about two to three months, y'all. I've been working on my photography business, getting that rolling and stuff. So it's been going great, as y'all can see. And I had to rebrand myself. So I was like, you know, I don't know what I, I, I hate relying on people, having to worry about people. So I was like, you know, I've been checking out the truck community. I've been going, looking up what's the best trucks and stuff. So. And one, I wanted the F-150, but that didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out. So I ended up with a Dodge Ram. Y'all give, I gave you, I'm gonna throw some like Euros, um, montage up in there and see how y'all like it. So y'all see the little montage or whatever. So y'all tell me what y'all think about it. I really like the truck. Uh, it is, it is a used truck. I didn't buy a brand new truck uh, or whatever, because the brand new trucks, the truck market is high right now. Like you guys spend like six thousand dollars on a brand new truck, and I'm not in that position right now, but. It's coming, it's coming soon. But I'm gonna give y'all a little outside view of it or whatever. <coughs> so I'm gonna start with the tent because I feel like that one sticks out. Y'all see I got that five, five and five, five percent tent. You can't see through. I ain't gonna lie, when I first got it, it wasn't no tent on there, but it had tent on the back. Uh I got a five over 15 on the back. Um, as y'all can see, y'all can kind of see through the window or uh, right here, and y'all can see the stunner wheel. But on the windshield, I got I don't got no tail on the windshield. I just got a, a little 5% script. Uh, now down to the tires, I got these. These are uh, these are factory tires, but these came with the truck. And these are factory rims, so I really do like the rims. But I am going to get some more wheels coming soon, eventually. Uh, they some mud grip. Uh, I see these are regular headlights. I can see right here. I'm gonna change all that stuff too. Uh, see what else I can say. We got the grill. So yeah, about the grill, I'm trying to decide. I've been seeing a lot of trucks. A lot of people kept their grill, and some people had like a black grill right here with no logo. And I had an idea that I wanted to do. I want to keep this grill, but I go try to somehow make the, the uh, logo glow up or whatever at night. I, I feel like that'll be tight. Uh, so it's really not too much on the too much on the truck uh, right now. Cause I, like I said, I only had it for about four or five days. I did take the uh, antenna off or whatever, just because I didn't eat this. I don't know, I just feel like that just, you know, oh. But I don't want to, a lot of people got the little bullet things. I don't want to get a bullet. I want to I want to find something with like a camera thing I could put on there. That'll be tight. Instead of like a bullet, it should be something like a camera logo. That'd, I feel like that'll be tight. If y'all know anything about that, y'all comment down below. Um, what else I can say? So back here, I'll show y'all the bed of the truck. Uh, so the battery tray, it do got a toolbox. I moved it. Um, it was right here. I'm still debating should I take it off or keep it on. Uh, I'll probably put it back on so y'all can see it, but not right now because it's kind of dirty. And I did wash it, but when I did, I, when I washed it, I didn't move the toolbox. I thought it was nailed down. The only thing about the toolbox, they don't have a it, it, key didn't come with it, so it is unlocked. And I really don't want to put stuff in there and people for me to open up and take it. Uh, I'll come back further so it do got a little paint job damage but that stuff light i feel like i could uh get that done something just like little stuff like that but for the most part it's pretty it's a pretty clean truck uh y'all see the sk i just doing a uh skate team uh shout out to g shout out to jet shout out to the, uh Devante and kirby they the uh leaders of the skate team we uh located in picu mississippi uh it's a lot of us uh, like I said, I just joined, so I don't know everybody that's in there right now. But uh, whenever we do, whenever we link up, I think Jet come back in like a week. So whenever he come back, I know that's when y'all probably will get a chance to meet them and stuff. I did do a video with G, so I will put uh, that in this video or another video. Uh, he the CEO, he the, he the uh, founder of the, uh, the company. So, uh, yeah, so Skate Team basically just a lot of group of guys that, you know, they got nice trucks and we just skating down the road you know so 
right now I'm just skating on uh, regular rims, but I eventually gonna get some rims. I've been trying to look, I've been looking up some, I think it was 26 by 14s, but I feel like with a ram, you gotta get deep dish. You gotta go deep dish, uh, I feel like. Uh, and I wanna do a lift. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm probably like five, six, so it's kinda hard for me to hop up in the truck because they had no uh, running bar. So I'm still thinking about lifting it and I'm still deciding because like, I like it now how it is, but at the same time, I do want to lift it up a little bit in the front. I, I, I seen some video of my same exact truck with it on some deep dish rims on it and stuff. But um, I do want to get, uh, another thing, I do want to get the exhaust fixed, put some more, uh, make it sound louder when I uh, crank it up and when I'm going down the road. I'm thinking about camming it too. Uh, I don't know which exhaust that I really want to go with. It's a handful of them. And I'm probably going to take some of the logos off of it and uh, just change it up. And I say put some wheel lights on it. I'm already debating about the wheel lights, but I, never, I, I know I'm going to put some rock lights. But uh, I might wait till I get some rims before I put wheel lights on it and stuff like that. Um, so that's really basically all the outside of the truck right now. Like I said, it's a 2013 Dodge Ram. Um, so you know, I should show the inside or I should make that another video? Uh, you should show the inside, but like just like a like B-roll of it and shit. You ain't got to really just show the inside. So I show y'all the inside of it real quick. Because that bitch dirty. Just show the inside. Like, okay. Yeah, that's the inside. Interior. Yeah, that's the inside. Like, I said, it's a 2013 Dodge Ram. Uh, it's got the uh, Ram Sport logo on it. Like I said, it's a 2013 Dodge Ram. I, said, I got it last Wednesday, uh, so it's almost a week, but I haven't met, had a chance to make a video. I was trying to make a video all week, but with me doing photography and doing other stuff, so it's kind of hard. And I wanted somebody to hold the camera instead of just, you know, setting it up on the tripod to get the right angle, so it kind of took me a little minute. But it's a few little touches I need to do on the truck. I said I need to, um, I really need to take it to the vacuum to get some stuff out that's like up in the cr uh, uh, cracks and stuff. I can see like leaves and stuff like that and I want to wipe the inside down a little bit uh, better and stuff like that but for the most part whoever had the truck before they took good care of it so I really appreciate them um, and like I don't know I never really I never really cared about cars and stuff like that but I feel like this one I'm gonna take care of because you know uh, like I said I want to join the truck community I've been seeing a lot of stuff with the truck and I really um, enjoyed it, especially since uh, I joined the um, SK uh, skate team. But the only thing about that, it's so hard to keep it clean. That stuff is aggravating, bro. Like, I just washed this truck like a day ago and it's already dirty. Like last night, I had, I had to go help somebody do some stuff. And I went through, the only way I could get to where I was going was go through the mud. And I was trying to dodge as much as I can. And when I woke up this morning, I didn't realize how much dirt it was on here. I need to wash this, but uh, I need to, I'm going to wipe it down right now while we're on camera. So, I'm going to show y'all the back view. Like I said, the mat is dirty. Oh, yeah, it did come with some uh, rain mats, some other mats. So, all you got to already do is shake them off and hit them with the hose. And that should be straight. So, this is my little secret compartment right here. So, you just hit the seat up and you raise it up. And, uh... Got all my supplies and stuff down here. I keep my uh, keep my water. Uh, uh, this is like for the for breeze, towel and stuff. And this like some wheel shine and stuff. I gotta get some more stuff. But this thing, I seen this. I don't want it to get hard, so I'm just gonna get it real quick. I probably should have did it before the video, but like I said on this channel, I wanted to be real. I know a lot of people. Uh, All right, so I want to, um, so this kind of towards the end of the video, but before we end it, I want to just give y'all a breakdown 
<laughs> what my channel gonna be about. So now y'all know for the OG, y'all been following me for a long time. So it's going about six, seven years since I've been doing YouTube or whatever. So I finally found something that I really enjoy doing, like uh, trucks. I'm, I'm about to start going to a lot of truck meets all over the world. Um, I say what really got me into it probably like a month ago now. I went to an NFL draft party uh, for Derek Hall. He got drafted by the Seattle Seahawks. Shout out to him. But I met some um, great people there. Uh, one dude named Poppin' Clutches, if y'all don't know him. And another dude, uh, 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 Jamar Lifestyle, or Lifestyle with Jamar or something like that. Uh, uh, I think it's Mar Lifestyle. I'm not for sure. But those guys got super nice trucks. They are uh, like Poppin' Clutches. He got like a Yukon and they squatted. Jamar got a uh, GMC Sierra and it's lifted. Uh, and I think it's like a, I forgot what type of rims he got on. I'm not really too, too fond about the rims, but they all had nice trucks and stuff. And I met a dude named Mileage, if y'all know him on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, so they kind of persuaded me, influenced me to, uh, you know, get into the truck game. My cousin Jeb been telling me about the truck game for a minute, but I never he had really pushed the issue until I saw their trucks and I saw how, like, I watched, I've been watching their videos for a while. I seen how much you know enjoyment they they been having going to the different meets, uh, you know, cause it's like it's a it's really like a brotherhood and it's really you know it's inspirational where you get to go all over the world just truck your truck and you can actually potentially win money and you get up and it's like you know this got like your baby so you kind of like take care of something and you know instead of just driving every day coming home it give you something to do and so I'm ain't gonna lie y'all I'm gonna tell y'all something personal. Last couple months, I've been like I said, I do photography, videography. If I'm my videographer makers out there, even photographers, y'all know when we in the line of duty, we really on the line of duty because like when we shoot music video, we always into like we always got guns pointed at us while we shoot music videos, or we going to the club trying to make our bread and stuff like that. So even with even with other content creators, we go to a lot of places and risk our life making content for you guys, and like. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, for the past couple months, I mean, I uh, witnessed that Black Beast, a person getting shot. And like, it didn't really mess with me physically in my mind, but in my mood, and I say spiritually, it messed with me. Like, it kind of made me not want to be around violence, violent stuff like that no more. I wanted to be around peace and happiness. Like, I got a kid now, got a son, and every day I see him growing up and he's smiling at me, and I hate to like have to leave him. Off of somebody else's foolishness. I know that, you know, going to truck shows and stuff like that, anything can happen out there, but I feel like it's a more safe environment. People come out there with good intention just to, you know, <coughs> show off their trucks and have fun at a good time. But I feel like going to parties, trying to get vlogs or going out here, going out here, people are ignorant and they get drunk off liquor and they start shooting. So, with that being said, I feel like I'm going to leave that lifestyle behind me. I'm still going to do photography, I'm still going to do all that. But the going to clubs, having female in my videos and stuff like that, I feel like I'm leaving that stuff in my past. That's going to be left in 2023, 2022, or, or really 2022. So this new Playboy Bar is a different brand, different meaning. It's just about positive vibes only. So if y'all don't like positive vibes and stuff like that, y'all can exit right now. Y'all can unsubscribe. Uh, so all my truck lovers, all my car lovers, uh, all my people that just want to watch me vlog, all that stuff. That's what I'm about to start doing now. So, how I'm talking a long time right now, just showing y'all. That's what this vlog. That's what my channel gonna start to be like. It's gonna be me in the truck and you guys. I'm gonna just bring y'all everywhere I go. Uh, I don't know the days I'm gonna upload, but I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get uh, shirts made. All this, I'm gonna get a lot of things. I'm gonna start getting wristbands made, uh, business cards, all that stuff. So when we go to truck meets and stuff like that. I can hand them out to you guys and y'all can meet me and stuff like that. But uh, we got a truck meet coming up in June. It's called Scraping the Coast. Uh, so that's going to be the first truck meet I feel like I'm going to be able to go to. I don't really think I'm going to have anything done at that moment. Uh, I might have I might have my rock lights uh, done at that. But as in wheels or anything, I don't think I'm going to have that done yet. Just because I don't want to rush anything. I want to take my time. Because, uh, you know... I really got the truck unexpectedly. Like a month, like two weeks ago, I did not expect for me to get the truck. Just some things happened in my favor. And yeah, I do want to say, y'all, manifestation is real because I manifested this truck. 
six months ago, I worked, I worked on, on laying asphalt, you guys. And one of my foremans, uh, he had a uh, 2022 or 21 Dodge Ram. And I was like, and I told him to do that work on stuff, bro. Six months, I'm gonna get this. And it's been probably like four months since uh, that time. And look, I got a, uh, I got a truck. It's not a 21, but it's close to it. It satisfied me. And I always remember, be super detailed when you manifest and stuff, and and mean it, and work hard towards it, cause anything can happen in your life, y'all. Y'all get anything y'all want if y'all manifest it, and really pray about it, and mean it, and build a relationship with God. And that's another thing I want to start bringing to the channel. <clears throat> I want to start bringing God more into my channel and stuff like that. I know uh, it's a kind of a lot of people be like, don't put religion, cause everybody don't believe in the same thing. But like I said, I'm not forcing any religion on y'all. I'm just like I said, this is. This is Playboy Bar is vlogging my life. Like, I only can vlog what I believe in and what I bring to the channel and what I bring to you guys. So, like, you know, if stuff don't sit well with y'all, y'all let me know. And, you know, y'all can click off the video, y'all can watch it. But I'm not forcing y'all to believe in a religion that y'all don't believe in. But this is what I believe in over here. So, if y'all want to support me, y'all can understand. You know, so, like, I'm not going to judge y'all whatever y'all believe in. But, uh, yeah, this is my truck right here. Uh, like I said, I can see this uh, state team sticker. Uh, I don't know when. I'm, I've been trying to force the issue to get them to get on the team with uh, with the YouTube stuff, but I don't know how they're going about it yet, just yet. They are everybody um, in construction right now. Everybody trying to get all that stuff, getting ready for uh, scraping the coast. Uh, so they've been in the truck game longer than me. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm like a couple days in. So <coughs> if anybody out there that know trucks and know whatever. Please don't hesitate. I know a lot of people that be in the truck and car game, they don't want people to tell them what type of car, what type of rims, what type of stuff to get. But please, if y'all watching this, comment down below and tell me what y'all think will look hard on my truck. If y'all feel like and stuff like that. Cause I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know really nothing about nothing. Like, I'm just learning. I just learned what 26 by 14 is. I still don't know what the measurements that is, but yeah, if y'all know some fire rims that, that, that look hard on my truck, if y'all got some rims for sale, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is playboybari underscore and stuff like that. Um, all that stuff. I'm, oh yeah, I'm getting decals put on my truck. Uh, it's getting made at this moment right now. I got a girl that's making it, uh, making me some decals. Shout out to her. She a real OG. Um, but yeah, oh yeah. Should I get rid of this toolbox or should I keep it? I don't know. It could come in handy, but at the same time, I feel like it's in the way. But. Uh, I don't know. You think I, you think I should say some more? Then that's enough talking or whatever. I mean, I feel I feel like you got enough. Oh yeah. So uh, <clears throat> I feel like that's gonna wrap up the video right here. See, that's how high that jump is. But yeah, it's a big horn. I don't know what that means. But uh, but yeah, I'm happy. I finally got a truck. Um, and yeah, we about to start making content for y'all. So yeah, that's it. So I know I'm I'm joining the truck community. Uh, so yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all stay tuned. We're dropping some more lip bangers. And yeah, your boy Playboy Barry. We out on. <laughs> Where you go tell me to turn the camera off, bro? Gang! I've been grinding for so long, and I'm so close to winning. Realize I gotta take care of my.